Okay, good morning, Lorraine Purcell here. Thank you for joining me for our daily meditation and our global prayer vigil. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna need to get up for some water. I just finished working out with my trainer. She just left, so I might be a little glowy, sweaty. It is raining in Charleston today for about four hours now. The roads are flooded. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. This is, today is our global light and love prayer vigil, prayer circle for the entire planet after we do our 30 minute meditation. Uh, I do this meditation every Monday through Friday right here, facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. And uh, you're welcome to join me. We just, just uh, I, I never know what it's going to be. I just tune in and download whatever's coming through at the time. So, yeah, so thank you for joining me. And then I invite you when the meditation's over to stay with us to take this beautiful energy and send it out across the entire planet. Um, even though the world is waking up again after uh, being all locked down, we need to stay awake myself included and this helps me to remember what's really going on is that the world is awakening good morning vicky yay nice to see you here okay so let's just take service taking some deep breaths while i just kind of tune in yes 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 If you find a tone like this, just feel it vibrating through your whole body. Your body is a tuning fork. Hi, Molly. Your body is a tuning fork for light and love and source. And so just remember this energy that we are generating now, we are going to be sending this out across the entire planet in a half hour. So we are cultivating Here's Rosa Ryan with us this morning. I hope she's okay. I kind of stuffed her in uh, <laughs> in my chair, my metal chair. Hi, Rose. Thank you. And here's Tiblo. He's helping us move the energy this morning. They're both unicorns, obviously. And they move energy up to the throne of God. So whatever it is that we are working with, they are taking it all the way up. They're in the seventh to the ninth dimensions. We're in the fifth. And who knows where the throne of God is, way up there. So they actually, hmm, take it up there. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Put your hands on your heart and say, I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. Yes, 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 yes. I say yes to my dreams. I say yes to my desires. I say yes to my ambitions that are in your will. Not my will, but your will. And thy will be done in your way, not in my way, not in my strength. We are no longer in the third dimension. We are doing everything through the leverage and the power of God's will now. We don't have to do things in our own strength anymore. Mm -mm. God knows our desires because he put them there. So we are whoo, letting them go through us, letting our desires be known. I want you to feel every single cell of your body come awake with your desire and with your dream that dream that you have, that vision you have that won't go away. You wish it would go away sometimes, but it just won't go away. That thing has been put there by God. We are saying yes to that. Just take a deep breath. And with that deep breath, inhale, we are activating everything that is going toward that end. So we don't have to go in our own strength. We don't have to make it happen. We surrender 
and we follow the inspiration from source. We follow source's inspiration. Deep inhale. We just did the new moon ceremony, I think it was yesterday or Monday, um, where we were planting the seeds of what we want to bring in this month. So let's just go ahead and revisit that. If you missed that ceremony, no problem, just do it now. What kinds of things do you want to bring in this month? We are cultivating that energy. So what is that that you are wanting to bring in this month? What is that? Ooh, how about confidence? How about peace? How about sureness? How about uh, certainty? How about believing in yourself? How about believing in your dream? How about trusting God and trusting the process of life? Stay with me into the next hour because, um, hi Charlie, welcome because we are going, I'm going to be sharing with you some things that got downloaded to me at 4 a.m. this morning. Fucking amazing stuff. It's just so powerful. I can't wait to share it with you. So hang in with me all the way through. We're not stopping after this and going into the global vigil. We're just going to keep going straight through. So, so deep breath, bring in the certainty, bring in the, the confidence, bring in the remembering who you are as a being of light. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. See a picture of yourself as sure of yourself. See yourself in a year from now after practicing this and meditating with me five days a week and doing these processes. Um, hi, Abdullah. I'm not going to call you, darling. I appreciate it, though, but I'm not going to call you. I'm sending you so much love, though, and I appreciate that you're reaching out, but I'm not going to call you, Just, but I'm sending you love, okay? So in with the good, out with all the <sighs> crap, in with, so Abdullah, this is what I want to say to you and to everybody. You get everything you need from here, and it's actually not me that you need, it's what I'm bringing through. So all you have to do is show up to these and just, and just get what God has for you, okay? This is what I totally want you to know, okay? Because it's not me. It's not me. I just want you to know that. I am just bringing that light and all that love through, and that's what you feel is the love, okay? So in, 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 in. Imagine yourself a year from now of doing this every day, Monday through Friday with me. Just imagine, just imagine, just imagine yourself in one year from now from doing this one year from now mm, I'm sending you so much love Abdullah yes 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 just hold that picture of yourself a year from now a year from today on May 27th 2021, who will you be as the more confident, sure version of yourself? I'm going to turn on my fan a little bit. Sending light and love, sending light and love, sending light and love, sending light and love to every single one of your cells. You have 50 trillion plus cells in your body. See every one of your cells healthy, beaming with light and love, just filled and filled and filled and filled and filled and filled. And filled and filled and filled and there's no room for anything that doesn't serve you. So anything that isn't serving you is just getting squeezed out and it's going down into Mother Earth. She's the master composter. She knows exactly what to do with everything that's not light and love and we are just letting that go. Oh, just breathe that in. 
Breathe in total harmony for all of your body functions. Total light and love for all of your body functions. Total alkalinity in your body. Perfect alkalinity. Yes, Vicki, sending peace to the universe. Yes, 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 yes. Peace to the entire universe. If you're on these calls with me, you are a light worker or you're someone who knows. Yeah, you, you are a light worker if you're on these calls with me. You know that this is your part of your mission is to do this. And you are just activating all the light in you to where when people see you, you just are glowing and they they want what you have and you can just send that to them like Vicki sending peace to the entire universe Abdullah sending peace to the entire globe sending peace to your heart all those needs we have all those human needs we are just sending peace and love to all of those human needs all those human um things that make us cry, that hurt our feelings. We're just sending love to them all. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now see yourself completely encapsulated in white light. Completely encapsulated with white light. Oh, yes. And then outside of that white light is gold light. See gold light going completely around your body. And infusing every single cell. Yes, yes. Feel the peace. Mm. And then surrounded with pink light all around your body. Mm. And then this beautiful, beautiful violet light. Whatever shade of violet that resonates with you. Is it dark violet? Is it lavender violet? What, what shade of violet <coughs> resonates with you? <coughs> Pardon me. Sneezing at the truth. Mm, and now this energy is permeating your home. I want you to feel this energy permeating every single molecule of your house. Okay, the walls, the things, the carpet, the floor, every article of food in your cupboard, every bit of food in your refrigerator. Mm and fill your vehicle and fill your yard so your whole dwelling filling your bed every place that you are is being filled with this beautiful beautiful light yes Feel your body being in absolute peace, absolute alkalinity, absolute health. And Mother Earth is sending her strength and power up through the roots of your feet, coming up to the roots of your feet, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Feel the peace, feel the harmony, feel the tranquility. Yes, say yes, yes, 
put your hands on your heart and say yes, 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 yes. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me and my desires as a being of light, as a light being. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. Hear the frog? <laughs> I have a little creek back over here and they love to sing when it's raining. It's so cute. Oh. And now with your hands on your heart, say thank you, 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 thank you. And just let those words of thankfulness just fill your entire body. Those words are carrying a vibration, and those vi that vibration is going into every single cell of your body and bringing harmony to your blood, harmony to your blood vessels, harmony to your bones, harmony to your marrow, harmony to your muscles, harmony to your fascia, to your cartilage, to your connective tissue, to your skin, to all the molecules of your skin. Everything is coming into balance. Every single bone, every single joint, all of your organs, all working together in harmony and coming into 100% health. And put your hand on your liver right now, that's right below your diaphragm, and ask your liver, what do you want me to eat more of? What do you want me to eat more of? Wow, it's saying leafy greens. Wow. And what do you want me to eat less of? It's saying processed foods. I'm eating the last of my processed food tonight. <laughs> oh. You got to do it sometimes. You got to go off. I, I go off quite often. Okay. And now ask your liver, what do you want me to drink less of? <clears throat> And what do you want me to drink more of? It's telling me it wants me to drink my smoothies again. My heavy metal detox smoothies. Okay, and now make a commitment to your liver to do these things, okay? So now back to your heart. Say thank you, 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 thank you. And those two words are carrying a vibration of harmony all the way through your body, 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 harmonizing everything. And now say, I love you, 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 I love you. These words are sending vibrational harmony through the water molecules of 70% of your body. Is this exciting? Masuro Emoto in the 19, in 1990s did research on molecules of water. And when they said, I love you, when they put, I love you, thank you, um, yes, onto the water molecules in bottles, it harmonized the water and it made beautiful water crystals. Imagine what that's doing to your 50 plus trillion cells in your body. We are 70% water. So as you do this, this is exactly what's happening. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I say yes to me. I believe in me. I have my own back. And now say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're saying thank you to yourself. You're thank saying thank you to the universe. You're saying thank you to your God, Allah, Muhammad, Buddha, Shiva, Jesus, Holy Spirit, all that is, Creator, God, Source, 
whatever it is for you, you're saying, um, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then put your hands on your heart and say, I love you to your own heart. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. I say yes to me. I say yes to me. As you go forth today, I want you to remember that there's nothing but the stream of well-being. There's nothing but the stream of well-being. There's nothing but the stream of well-being. I think it's about 8.30. I'm going to close the meditation, but I'm going to keep going for the global, the global vigil. For more of my work, go to 3keys2selflove.com. The number three keys, like you're putting your car, to selflove.com, www3 keys to selflove dot com for my free ebook that will change your life for the better forever. Make your life better forever. It's helped over well over ten thousand people around the world now. to do a bit of a shake off yeah I think I'm going to start doing these at 8 a.m. now I'm going to change all my times to 8 a.m. So we're going straight from here into the Global Light and Love Vigil. So uh, I'm, what I'm inviting you all to do is to join me at 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Central, 6 a.m. Mountain, and 5 a.m. Pacific, and then about 1 p.m. in the UK, and um, 8 p.m. in the Philippines, and midnight in Australia and just do this with me Monday through Friday Monday through Monday through Friday we'll start with the meditation and then on Monday Wednesday Friday we'll go into fairy godmother Monday the global light and love vigil prayer circle on Wednesday and body talk Friday on Fridays that's the new inspiration I've got so um, I think I'm going to go into my kitchen and get some water. Come along with me. Or am I going to make tea? I'm not sure. It would be a good thing to drink some water right now. To integrate this. Hmm. Molly, are you still here? Can you tell me what Po means? What's the meaning of Po? You and Hari call me Po. And <laughs> I'm curious what that means. <laughs> and Hari's in India. I'm not sure where that is compared to you in the Philippines. But I think it's cute. I know it's a term of endearment. And I appreciate that. So I have been awake since five, no, since four this morning, and I didn't go to sleep until 11 last night because I was completely immersing myself in love. And I was, I was casting out some fear that I had. 
and I just was like, no, I refused to be in fear, and I just stayed in bed, and I just said, I love you, 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 and I just bathed myself in in love while I listened to Florence Scovel Shin um, book, The Game of Life and How to Play It. It was life changing. It was life changing. So I recommend that. I'm going to put that link in the Your Great Big Life Facebook group, my private group, Your Great Big Life. Um, it's for women only who aren't mean girls and who are on a spiritual path spirit junkies like me, but um, I highly recommend that if you are struggling with anything, just put your hands on your heart and say, I love you, 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 and when your heart gets so filled with thankfulness, there's a, a gland right behind your breastbone called the thymus gland, and that's what this is, is the thyme leaf. And this is what it's named after, is this leaf. I'm going to taste a little bit of it. It's a spice. Mmm. Mmm, how fun. Um, and it's the fountain of youth. But it gets stimulated when we're in so much thanksgiving and love that our heart gets filled with blood and it starts to send new blood flow into the thymus gland. Now, interestingly, the thymus gland starts stops producing in puberty, starts slowing down, I should say, in puberty. So most people, when they die, this the gland behind your breastbone is nothing but fat. And that's because we haven't sent all this joy and love into it and so when we are on these calls and we are filling and when you do this on your own time too and you put your hands on your heart and you say thank you 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 to universe and i love you i love you i love you i love you i love i love i love i love i love i love oh my god just saying that you just get all this energy through my whole solar plexus and up through my heart and high heart and your heart gets filled with more blood and that expansiveness stimulates that thymus gland and your thymus gland goes, oh, we still are alive, wow, and starts producing whatever that hormone is that it does and all well, your life just gets better and better and better. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, our bodies. And of course, I am very much into quantum physics. I am a student of quantum mechanics. I have been for a while now. And um, yeah. So what I want to share today about radical forgiveness. When we harbor bitterness, resentment, and grudges, we kill ourselves. We age ourselves. It, hard, we, it puts hardness in our blood. It puts hard chunks in our blood which deposit in our joints and causes you know, rheumatism and arthritis. When we're critical of other people, when we're sarcastic, when we're holding hard thoughts about people uh, or events or we're blaming and doing all of that stuff, it just, um, mm, two hawks just flew over, like close. Wow. Um, when we are uh, holding any bitterness and grudges against ourselves too, when we are judgmental and critical of ourselves, we do this also. So we want to lift all of that stuff off of us. So that our blood can run pure and clean and start to gradually clean out any um, deposits in our blood veins, in our joints, in our gallbladder, in our kidneys, so that we just flush it through. Just flush it through. So I want you to put your hands on your heart, and especially as we're doing the global vigil, 
it's so important that we keep purity in our hearts so that our prayers can go through us and go up to the throne, which our unicorns are helping us with. Okay? So, radical forgiveness is when we see any difficulty in our life, including the COVID-19, as only a thing that's showing us our process and taking us through our process. Now I want you to just breathe in and take this, okay? When we have a difficulty, it just shows us our process. This is something that I've learned from Matt Kahn and I am ad adapting it to my own uses. Um, so when we have a problem, when we have a hiccup, when we have a resentment, when we have a bitterness, when we have a, um, a, a tendency to blame, we need to be very careful because that will kill us. That will put the lines in our faces, that will put the care into our lives, that will put the worry into our lives. And we wanna be free of all of that stuff. We wanna be completely free of all of that. Completely free of all of that. We want the hurt emotions to just travel through us. We feel them, we acknowledge the hurt, and then we let it pass through. So this is radical forgiveness. When every time that thought will come to your mind and um, your mind says, I can't believe they, blah, 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 that you say, yes, I hear you, and we're going to send them light and love. And the more you do this, we're gonna send them light and love. The more you do this, the lighter you become, but also the more you're opening up to compassion, okay? Radical forgiveness is when you come into compassion for the person who has um, hurt your feelings or done something that has caused you some sort of injury. Big, this is really big stuff. This is higher level stuff. This is not for the faint of heart. And if you're part of my community, you aren't a wimp. You are a spiritual powerhouse. This is part of what purifies us. Coming into deep compassion for those who have hurt us. Jesus said, pray for those who despitefully use you. If, um, if Jesus isn't your, your person, if it's Muhammad or Allah or all that is, or Moses, or I'm not sure what the Jews, I know that you study the Torah, but I'm not sure what um, your, your deity is. Maybe it's just God, Jehovah. Um, or just I am. You're on your path to I am. And one of the biggest, um, hi, honesty. One of the, welcome, so good to see you here. Um, one of the biggest ways to the I am and for being solidly on your path is to whenever anybody has done something to hurt you, that you see that owie as a, um, a process to purify you. And you actually send love to that hurt, letting the person off the hook. And then the more you do this, every time your mind comes in and says, I can't believe that you, da, da, da. I can't believe they, blah, blah, blah. You say, thank you, thank you. And 
pretty soon, the more you do that, the more compassion you get for that person. This is the road, you guys. This is the road. This is the process to the answer to everything. To softening all the hardening in your life. Which the hardening in your life is the bitterness, the resentment, the grudges, the um, criticism, the sarcasm, the anger. This is what will kill you and not a pleasant death. We're not talking about falling asleep in your dreams. <laughs> We're talking about cancer. We're talking about heart disease. We're talking about things that aren't fun. Like when, when I leave the planet, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the planet in a nice dream. Just follow just be in my sleep. Just at the end. <laughs> I know it because I bathe myself with this love. But here's the thing that happens the more you do this. You develop deep compassion for everyone who's hurt you. Hi, Kathy. Deep compassion for everyone who has hurt you and is hurting you. Now, I'm not talking about abuse. If you're being abused sexually, abused emotionally, abused verbally, um abused physically you get out you get out even if it means going to a women's shelter or the ymca or a friend's couch you do not stay and bathe in bullshit and let someone abuse you this is not what i'm talking about but even when you leave you go through this process okay do not stay with them because you're not there to be someone's whipping post. But as you, every deposit of hatred and meanness, and sometimes you have to go through it. And uh, hi, Brian, good morning. Hatred and meanness and anger, it's one of the, one of the steps of going through the healing if someone has really hurt you but eventually as you release them okay and realize that they were the gift because they opened up the processes for you for you to get more purified and anyone who's on these calls with me you are a highly spiritual person you seek the kingdom of God and his or her righteousness okay it's that first and then all the things are added to you. You are completely empty if you don't have this. And you know it. That's why you're here. Hi, Mary. Oh my gosh, you gotta you gotta rewind this and watch this part, Mary. I was thinking of you when I woke up at 4 a.m. and got this download. But what happens is you develop then deep compassion for the perpetrator for the person who hurt you. When I say perpetrator, I don't mean like necessarily a sexual perpetrator or a physical perpetrator. I'm talking about someone who just emotionally hurt you. Okay, that is a perpetrator too. Um, we've been perpetrators at times in our lives. So <coughs> as we come into deep compassion for these people, which you can't just jump to it, you've got to go through the anger, the hatred, the revenge. You don't have to act on the revenge or the anger, but you have to know that these human emotions are going through you, through you and they're part of that process, okay? But move through it as quickly as you can and don't entertain those... Yeah, yeah, and entertaining those thoughts. Don't entertain those thoughts. When, you, when those thoughts come, and it's... Because my mind still does it with this rupture that I had um you know i hear my mind go i can't believe blah 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 and it's like do you pick it up and do you nurse it like you know picking at a scab so you can keep picking at it um you know do you keep nursing that thing or do you go this this event helped me to process more gunk in my life for me personally it was to let go of more codependence that i wasn't even aware wasn't healthy for me 
So as you just let that go, pretty soon that voice starts to quiet down because it's not getting the fuel it used to by your responses. And then what happens is eventually your inner wisdom will bring you into deep compassion for this person or these people or this nation or this political leader or whatever it is that your mind wants to be critical of. We, if you want a healthy life, you must let go of this. But again, you have to go through the process. We're not talking about, you know, covering up and making scar tissue over it so that the thing is still in there. Like if you ever had a wound where you, like a sliver, where you um, didn't get it all out and that thing made scar tissue over the top of it and now you've got a bump under the skin. Have you ever had that experience? That, it's not what we want. <laughs> we want to clean it out. Um, what I find is helpful is to write it out or talk to a few select friends who you know are not going to gossip about the situation, that it's just gonna be between you and them and still watch your words because they'll come back to bite you. But go go through the process, okay, of cleaning out that wound, all right? But don't keep re-injuring yourself by entertaining the thoughts that don't serve you, okay? Because the thoughts and the words you say with your mouth carry a vibration. In the meditation we did just before here, when you say, I love you, I love you, I love you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, yes, yes. Those words carry a vibration that harmonize your body. When you say, I can't believe they did that, I don't understand, um, you know, why did this happen to me? Those carry a vibration, a negative vibration, and those put hard deposits in your body and in your bloodstream that cause rheumatoid, rheuma, rheumatism, arthritis, um, hardening of the heart, hardening of the arteries, gallstones, kidney stones. You don't want to go there. It, that's why Jesus says, judgment is mine, saith the Lord. Vindication is mine, saith the Lord. It's not our business, okay? So the more you practice this cycle, the more you practice this cycle, the more you come into deep compassion D, hi. The more you come into deep compassion for the perpetrator. And you're free. And then you wind up just praying for them and sending them light and love because they need so much of your love. Because, you know, you're the enlightened one. I don't know how else to put this. You're the one who's continually on the path to light and light and light and light and light. You're the one who's going through the fucking annoyance of using the 750 million pounds of thrust. Is it 750 million or 750,000 pounds? Of, it's gotta be 750 million pounds of thrust. Because 750,000 isn't that much. <laughs> to get the rocket ship off the launch pad, you're the one going through this bullshit. Normal people don't go through, they don't bother, okay? They spend their lives in bitterness, resentment, judgment, criticism, sarcasm, cynicism. Okay, my family love them so much, but my family came from criticism, cynicism. They were all cynics. And they proudly said, we're cynics. They all had arthritis. They all had rheumatism. They all had their teeth pulled and wore dentures. And, um, yes, Kathy, yes, 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 this is profound. Yes, yes, you did it. You went through like a, you went through like open heart surgery. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Love them, love them, love them, but they also all died 70 or younger. <laughs> you know, bless their hearts. I just love them. But they're from a generation where they didn't know any different. 
okay? They didn't know any different. We're in a new light. And so if you have, if you notice that your past ancestors came from this place, it's kind of the way it was then. They were doing the best with the enlightenment that they had at the time. We are in a new era and you are at the spearhead of that era, especially if you're in my community, because in this space, you can't abide here unless you're on this track. I mean, you can, you're welcome to visit, but you won't stay because it's like, what's here for you? <laughs> unless you're like a freak, a spiritual weirdness. You know, weird means you're spiritual. And we are on a track of higher, higher, more, more, better, better. We are in an upward elevation. I am on a beeline. I am on a trajectory for being such a being of light and love that, and it's not about me, that, because it's the only way I'm destined to go. When people will look at me, they'll just see light. And again, not, not for my glory. Okay, I want to be really, really, really clear on that. Um, but they just feel the love. And it heals them. That's where I'm heading. Because there's nowhere else for me to go. Can anyone relate to this? Tell me if you relate to this. Am I alone in this? Or do you guys relate to this? I kind of need to know. Because this is where I'm going. <clears throat> There's nowhere else for me to go. I've done the 750 million pounds of thrust. Some of you have been there with me and have done it with me. And, you know, we'll fall back down into the lower atmosphere. But then we're like, this is not home. This is not home to me. Home is up in the rarefied air. Jesus said, put your, put your light on a hill so people can see it. Don't hide it underneath a bushel basket so nobody can see it. We're here for a reason to raise the vibration of the planet. Who else is relating to this? It's our destiny as light workers. Matt Kahn says there's only 144,000 of us, which I know it's got to be more. I know it's got to be more, but maybe he's right. I mean, are we that rare? So, I'm here to remind you of your path. I'm here to remind you of where you're going. And it's completely out of the lower nature bullshit. Thank you, D. Um, you can't. You will feel it. You are human. But our job is to transmute it, and I'm here to tell you that as you transmute it, Kathy, as you transmuted what you went through about a month ago, as we transmute it, we are transmuting that for the planet. Do you understand? D, yes, 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 I'm flying up into the rarefied air like an eagle or hawk, so free. Yeah, and just, Mary, just like um, when I shifted from the meditation over to this, two hawks flew, two of them. They were, they were coming out of the, and then they went like this, but they were close. They weren't way up in the hot, in the sky. They were maybe 100 feet up. Mary, you just reminded me of how much Doing the opposite clock hand thing helps me. Yeah. And, you know, Mary, you bring up such an excellent point because, um, and, you know, um, Kathy, I want to read your, your, your thing out loud to everybody in just a second. Um, you guys remind me all the time of the stuff that I share with you because you can't remember it all, right? You know, we get ourselves into these side dithers and we kind of play with it. And, I, you know, I'll say things like, like, oh, I just went through a jag with processed food. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll like stock up on some processed food. Like I got onto P.F. Chang, this, this frozen Chinese food that is just like, pfft. their motto is stay in, eat like you didn't. <laughs> 
their food is so good. Oh. Um, so I just, I was hungry one day and I went to the, the grocery store and I bought, oh my God, a ton of it. And I'm eating the rest of it tonight with my, my friend who's staying over. And, um, we're, I'm going to clear it out of my freezer. We're going to eat it together. She thinks it's a big treat. And I'm like, God, I'm just so glad I'm getting it over with. But we go, and I do the same thing with the human emotions. I go, well, maybe I'll just try being bitter and angry and try how that is. And then it's like, after a while, it's like, oh man, I'm a mess. So when we fall, when we fall off the wagon, don't disparage yourself. You guys keep reminding me continually of the things that I share with you because we just can't do it all all the time. You know, it's impossible to keep all those plates in the air, right? So, um, Kathy, in honor to you, I am going to read this out loud. I've let it all go. No scar tissue here. All We all process differently, but when you cleanse all within yourself, your path is much lighter and happier. And I give you so much... Um, kudos for that um i probably could too except i have a tendency to um test it <laughs> for what reason i don't know just to kind of see how much i can get away with that's my thing where i can have the tendency to have an addictive thing so i'm always going back and playing with stuff and then i'm like no i think i'll i'll stay here so here's the good thing. An analogy is right now I've hired a personal trainer. She was with me this morning. I'm going to turn off my, my fan. Hang on a second. Um, some of you may know that I hired a personal trainer. She comes to my house three days a week because this thing was not happening on my own. And so um, she was just here. She always kicks my butt. Oh, my God. Um, she's amazing. She's a bodybuilder and she's only in her 20s. She's absolutely beautiful. Um, what was I saying with all that trainer? Oh yeah. When you have worked out and you have built some muscle and you stop for whatever reason, life happens. Life happens, you guys. Life happens. All that matters is we go back. That's all that matters. And that's all the universe sees too. Did you know that? All universe sees and acknowledges is that we got back. Universe only sees and acknowledges when we say yes to ourselves. Do you understand that? That's all the universe. It's our human ego that will say, oh, you were bad. The universe doesn't say you're bad. Only religion says you're bad. So when you get back and you start training again, you have something called muscle memory. Have you heard of muscle memory before? That means it hurts for a little while. I'm still in the hurting phase, but I'm stronger. I'm already looking buff. Now, if I would stop overeating, which I'm not sure, I mean, I'm doing better, but I'm not sure I'm, I've stopped, then it's gonna just gonna, you know, come in like that. But it's all the process is what I'm trying to get at. It's all the process. So rewind this when you get the replay for my little teaching on radical forgiveness. It's huge. It's our way out. It is our path. It is our method. <sighs> and that 750 million pounds of thrust is what it takes for the rocket ship to get off the launch pad. 750 million pounds of thrust. And that's us getting up to where the air is frictionless and things are effortless. D is in it right now, big time, where things are effortless. And once you get up there, once you stay with, um, The positive emotions but you can't do a spiritual bypass you have to go through the lower stuff but pretty soon I'm not even sure we have to I think we can just uh, you know skip a few steps Kathy they say we 
what don't kill you makes you stronger oh my god and here's what hurts you blesses you dr sandy bavakwa shared this with me we're in the process of doing some things together and um i i shared with her about my rupture because she knows me quite well i know her quite well and um she's she shared with me this roomy quote that says what hurts you blesses you what hurts you blesses you write that down what hurts you blesses you darkness is your candle and you know this when you're going through the dark night of the soul it is like when you are just middle of the flame with your maker it's so beautiful it's so beautiful so with that i'm going to make an announcement right now and that is i am officially starting monday through friday at 8 a.m eastern no longer 8 30 because what i'm noticing happen is that i go through the meditation and then i don't want to repeat it <laughs> because it's a complete aligning and cleaning and grounding and so we're going to ground to mother earth and do all that but i'm just going to start at 8 a.m so everything is starting over here at 8 a.m. That means it'll be 7 a.m. for D and Mary. I mean, no, I think Mary, you're my time. Um, Vicky, I don't know if you're Mountain or Central. I mean, if you're Eastern or Central. So it's going to be 7 a.m. And for Honesty, D, and those of you in Central, it's going to be 6 a.m. for Mountain and 5 a.m. for those of you in the Pacific, which is Phoenix. And uh, then it's going to be one-ish i think maybe noon i'm not sure for england and europe most of europe and 8 p.m for the philippines and midnight for australia so make your calendar adjustment to the rain time because <laughs> we're going to start meditating here every monday through friday at 8 a.m eastern and then we're just going to flow right into uh, okay, Mary, you're central, so it's going to be 7 a.m. for you. And what a better way to start your day. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's just going to be the meditation just for the half hour. And then on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to go right into Fairy Godmother Monday, the Wednesday Global Vigil Prayer Circle, and then Body Talk Friday. So uh, that's going to be the deal. And I'll be, you know, kind of marketing that way so every, everybody will get on board but and what i'm realizing is that when it's the 8 30 crowd comes in you've missed so much now because i'm realizing i've already done a lot of it and so i don't want to repeat it but i didn't do grounding mother earth i'm saving that for you so um let's go ahead and let's take some deep breaths and let's ground to mother earth so my invitation is for you to start joining me at the top of the hour, a half hour earlier. I'm eating some time right now um, from my thyme plant, which is what the thymus gland is named after. So when I found an organic thyme plant at Whole Foods, I picked one up because I'm really big on the thymus right now. Love the thymus. I'm really learning about the thymus gland. So when your body gets so filled with love, that your heart starts swelling just like a sexual organ and all that energy goes there same thing happens to your heart when you're in thankfulness thank you thank you i love 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 i love i love your heart actually swells and the blood comes in there and starts to stimulate the thymus gland that is behind your breastbone and the thymus gland hasn't done it much since puberty and so when people die, usually the thymus gland is nothing but fat now. Well, in this group, you're going to be bringing in so much energy that your thymus gland is going to go, whoa, we're waking up. Thymus gland is the fountain of, fountain of youth. So I'm going to tell you a little story as you're breathing. So keep breathing while I eat my thyme plant. And... Um, um, last night i had a big scare big scare and i was like this is fucked up i don't want to feel this way so i started breathing i'm listening i'm going to drop the link 
to this in your great big life Facebook group if you're listening to this call and you're not a mean girl and you're interested in being your higher self um, request to join at your great big life and um, I actually go and I look at your profile make sure that you fit when I say fit I mean that you're not political you're not highly opinionated you're not like you know fighting against anything that you're uh, an earth angel there we go That you're an earth angel um, nothing against you if you're not <laughs> it's just um, you know take one or two of my programs and you, you will get the idea because chances are if you do want to get in it means you're called there but you're just not quite ready so I'm going to drop the link to Florence Scoville Shin's The Game of Life and How to Play It I was listening to it last night it was life changing just listen to the audiobook it's two hours long and while I was doing that, I got so converted that I was just saying, I was going to say, love you, 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 love you. I did this for two hours. I was so amped up. I, and I started laying down at about nine. So about three hours, I was like, love you, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was so stimulated. I didn't even stop until about 11 was when I was the last I remember being awake. And then I woke up at four doing the same thing. Um, so I'm going to be dropping that link in your great big life. So it's your great big life Facebook group. When you go there, there's a couple of them that kind of sound similar. So just so you're not confused, it's the one with the brown banner and big face of me on the right. And it says your great big life. Um, so I completely obliterated the fear completely obliterated the fear none I filled that situation with so much love and so much light that that thing that I was worried about completely gone Kathy Mother Earth says stay grounded share your opinion <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. So what is Mother Earth saying to you? Mother Earth is saying, be full of yourself. We love you, Mother Earth. Mother Earth is sending down rain here today. Be full of yourself. So just ground to Mother Earth and just feel her support for you. It's pretty cool sitting here eating time. <laughs> eating time. Because <laughs> there have been a couple of people who have wanted to join. I'm, I haven't declined them because my Earth Angel self is um, like, I don't want them to think I'm rejecting them but on their profiles they're um, cloudy and rainy here we need some sun <laughs> yeah um, they're all political and putting up you know um, like what they're against politically and I'm like no we don't want that energy in your great big life that's like a it's like a pure zone it's like a pure zone of celebration Kathy Rain here today too. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm proclaiming that it's raining awakening. So now you've got your grounding. Let's just bring it on up to your feet did a lot of this in the uh, the thing this morning and let's just swirl it through our body in a counterclockwise swirl of white light all the way up 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 all 
harmonizing all of your organs. What does your heart have to say to you? Notice your chakras as you travel through. What are they saying? Oh, my heart is staying stay full. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree, Kathy, because... Um, but I do believe in sending love to every politician, though, because, you know, even if they might be out to get attention, there's a reason, so I send them healing. Um, I, I just send them love. Politicians and leaders, I send them love. I'm committed to sending them light and love. But I agree. <laughs> I can't go there. Mm-mm. Because it makes you take sides. And I'm on the side of light. And light doesn't condemn anybody or criticize. Light is love. So we send love to every politician. Yes, love to every politician. So my heart is saying, stay full. That means stay in bliss. Stay in bliss. Especially if you don't agree with what they're doing. Then, what is your throat saying? What's your message from your throat? my throat's message. My throat's just saying to stay in peace. Throat. Stay in peace. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. What is your third eye saying? My third eye is saying expand. You can drop these in the comments if you want to add power to them when you are um, when you are active that way universe goes you really mean it my throat no judgment be kind to all yes sister we can be militant on that one okay so now your whole body is filled with light you're bringing up mother earth just put our hands on our heart and say yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank you, 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 thank you. I love, 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 I love. You might notice, like me, I put um my hands fall on my high heart maybe because I can't get to my heart <laughs> but my high heart that's where the thymus is the high heart wow um, and just feel the bliss expanding because we're going to be taking this out to mother earth okay I mean yeah to the globe to the planet to our eight eight billion brothers and sisters mm. The human body is a microcosm of the entire planet and the entire universe. Did you know that? 
Mary Throat, say only positive words. Oh, yes. And we talked about this earlier, um, Mary. I think it was before you got on. Um, the words, I love you, carry a vibration. And the words, I hate you, carry a vibration. And, you know, which thing do you want vibrating through your body? I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about all of us. Um, throat is saying thir heal. Third eye is saying focus overall. Gorgeous. Yeah. And to my, my mind, even if I don't say the words, just thinking them, if I, like the thought coming through is impersonal. But if I grab it and I go, yeah, how could they? <laughs> or, yeah, I don't think I want to do that today. <sighs> um, it starts that's when it starts disharmony. That's when that vibration goes out. Yeah, I got it again. So you're going with me to my bedroom. If you guys set your alarms and you join me here at the top of the hour, a half hour earlier than we are used to, than you might be used to, your life's going to be different. My life is so different just from getting up and doing this public meditation every day. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, the you thing that's going on in my body from doing it. And I'm actually stopping complaining about the tech. I've got it down to about an hour now. And I'm coming more into my purpose, and I bet you will too, because as we align every single day for 30 minutes, as you align yourself, as you get back into your zone every day, I mean, how could it not? Okay, so now this gorgeous, blissful energy we are sending out to our 8 billion brothers and sisters and every molecule within them. They are 70% water. <laughs> I know you're amazing, Kathy. <laughs> Vicki, the negative festers within you, yes. Whereas staying positive enlightens your soul. Sister, and I've seen you grow so much through this. You're such an example to all of us. And I thank you so much for, for staying the course on all of this, Vicki. Oh, here's a flashback. I used to pick coffee on my coffee farm in Hawaii in this shirt. And I, I recognized it because I have a coffee berry stain. <laughs> I used to pick coffee in this. That was um, about 10 years ago. <laughs> So every human, and I imagine every animal, is 70% water. So we're sending this bliss, this blissful harmonizing energy to every single water molecule and every single of our 8 billion brothers and sisters. We are not separate from them. We are all one. We are all one. We all came from the Big Bang. We all came from this one little molecule thing in the center of the earth or center of the universe oh lordy i would be in coffee heaven lol oh yeah it was the best coffee in the world kona coffee the most expensive coffee in the world and the best coffee in the world we grew it on our six acre uh farm with 100 year old coffee trees it's amazing with the jackson chameleons they were about their bodies were about that big long tails and they only had like one hand that was one piece and their thumb and they would go like this on the branches <laughs> i'm going to do the jackson chameleon imitation <laughs> they go like this they're sitting on the branch and they're going they're getting ready to move they're not moving yet <laughs> they do this for a while and then they go clunk 
<laughs> with their hand on the thing. And then they take their other hand really slowly. <laughs> and then they go. <laughs> you can stand there and watch them. <gasps> well, he's getting ready to take the next step. Okay, this is how slow they move. Clunk. <laughs> and then the other step. And then their eyes go in two different directions. And they're like buggy eyes. They stick out like um, like a, a over oversized pie. And their eyeballs kind of go in two different directions. Um, they were not moving because they needed their <laughs> but their tongues go so fast. We, we were um, living in a, a tent while we were building our, our cottage. And we saw one because we're like, oh, they're so slow. And all of a sudden, like microscopically, this tongue just went and grabbed a mosquito in midair. But that, the Jackson chameleons and the centipedes were like this long. And they were neon blue. They were so beautiful. And I never got bit by one. Every time I would disturb them, I would say, oh, I'm so sorry. And I, you know, bless their families. And I never got bit. Never got bit. But yeah, we used to pick it, soak it, pulp it, dry it in our drying shed. And then I'd bag it up and take it down to the coffee mill and they would see if it was dry enough. If it wasn't dry enough, I'd have to take it back up and spread it out again. And then we lived way up on the mountain, so it was wetter. And uh, often we would have to take the coffee back down. I mean, take the coffee back up, not often. We were pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and they had this humidity measurer because if, they, if it wasn't dry enough, it would just chop it up while they took all the holes off. And then, so they would hull it, and then they would roast it, and they would bag it for us, and I would sell it. Okay, um, yeah, it, they were so funny. And it was so peaceful there. I'm going to show you the shell I found. This was like a gift from the angels. There were all these cool places in this coffee farm. Um, but here's a shell that I found. There's it this one? I think it was this one. This was the one. It was on an old structure that was, um, yeah, that was um, on the property. And here's one that my former boyfriend found for me. This is what they look like when they're brand new. Isn't that beautiful? Can't remember what they're called. So we are magnetizing and crystallizing every water molecule in every single every single water crystal. Masaru Emoto. This is what we're doing with 70% of everybody's body. We're doing this. We're harmonizing their water. Just beautiful. I'm going to keep this book in here. Um, and then we're going to harmonize every water molecule in every animal. And I'm assuming that they have 70% water also. And then every water molecule and every plant. Plants have a lot of water content. Harmonizing, sending this love and this peace to every water molecule in every plant. And every building and every roadway, every house plant, and now to every waterway. Every waterway, every water molecule is getting clean. Do you guys doubt what we're doing? I've had visions of what we're doing here. 
in these Wednesday vigils, and actually all of them, Monday through Friday, what we're doing, we're going to get to heaven, and they're going to say, you guys made such a difference. You guys shifted the planet. Us. Us. This little group. Us doing this together, harmonizing ourselves, staying in alignment, and then sending that out to every water molecule, the peace and the love. We are changing. Right now, we have changed the whole vibration of the planet, and don't doubt it. That's how powerful we are, and this work, and Rose and Tiblo. So all this love to the planet, yes, 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 yes. And let's just throw a whole bunch of this down to Mother Earth too. Yes, 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 yes. And let's remember the least of these, my brethren, the way you treat the least on the planet is how you treat God. That's because we rock, yes, Kathy. Vicki, when we get to heaven, we are going to be rocking that stairway to heaven. Yes. We're going to actually meet each other finally there. We already know each other. We are tribe sisters. We are. I'm going to go further and say we are tribe leaders. Every one of you here are tribe leaders. And when we get on the other side... I mean, we may never meet each other in the flesh, but it doesn't matter. We know we belong here. So what we just did, just soothed the planet and alkalized. It's like if you um, have acid water and you squeeze a lemon in it, it turns alkaline. That's what we did. We just did that. Even though it's just a few of us. Doesn't matter. Yep. With Jimmy and Robert. <laughs> mm -hmm. Today your assignment is to be in bliss. Today your assignment is to feel so much joy that your heart expands and sends stimulation to that thymus gland and your body gets younger and younger and younger and younger and younger. That's your assignment. And to follow your instincts and your intuition. Follow, 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 follow every whisper, every, every breath, from the angels, every on your cheek, you follow it, you follow it. Those of you who weren't here yesterday, I picked up this leaf for you. Isn't it pretty? And Mike and George will be there shaking their group thing. <laughs> Kathy, depends where my signings are at the next few years, I can meet some on here. Oh, yes. And I love what you just did, Kathy. Do you know what Kathy just did? Something called Kylegoing from Kyle Cease. Actually, that's an acronym for Kyle and Diego. And um, it's where, uh, you know, Kathy will say, yeah, I just, I just had a 18 tour, 18 city tour, and I got to meet so many people all over the planet, and yeah, so you're, you're pretending as if it's happened now, like, um, you know, D, I'm so glad you got to interview Dr. Christian, um, and Carolyn Mace, um, you know, just playing as if the future is now. And it's already past, actually. And just living in that energy. Living in that energy. So I'm just going to feel in. Let's do a card today. 
Um, I'm just going to feel in and see if there's anything else that wants to come through. Doing work your light. Yeah, Vicky, it was the best coffee in the world. Volcanic rock. The coffee trees were growing in the volcanic soil. We had rock piles that they were growing in. Volcanic rock piles. I'll post a picture of our view. It was amazing. We had the view of six miles of sacred coastline where the whales would come from Alaska and have their babies and where Captain Cook was murdered. Already scheduled for two cities in each state. Yay, Kathy! Yay! I see it. I see it. I'm holding that. Okay, so which card is it? It's this one. It just popped out. Okay, let's see what this is. Ooh. Priestess. That's what we are. Priestess. Priestesses. Just get the energy of that. How are you being called to step up and lead? Hello? How are you being called to step up and lead? I'm going to ask you that question. How are you being called to step up and lead? How are you being called to step up and lead? 52. The priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom, and leadership. I think all of us are priestesses then. We all fall into that category. You don't need to have it all together to lead. Thank God. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. Let your life be your message. Don't underestimate the power of sharing your story. It's by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. We realize that we're actually all in this thing called life together. The difference between a follower and a leader is that the, the leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forward too. Don't fret too much about trying to work out who is your tribe. Don't get stuck in age, income, hobbies, or occupation. The best way to discover your, discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. If you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life, you longed for someone to lead you. Your tribe are longing for exactly the same thing as you are and were, and might, might only be one step behind you. Hell, they may even be right alongside you, as many of you are. You don't need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up. Embrace your struggles the peaks and the troughs. You don't need to know the way, just believe that there might be a different one. You don't need to know the way, just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you. Step forward so they can find you. Work your light inquiry. How are you being called to step up and lead? How can you be the leader you wish you had? That was lovely. I'm feeling to draw another card too. Um, maybe angel therapy. 
Anybody have a preference? We are not alone. Stacy, good morning. We are not alone. Shine your light. Walk like a queen you are. Yes, Vicki, thank you. I'm feeling angel therapy from our dear Doreen. I will always pay her homage. Bless her heart. And this is what the cards look like. They're beautiful. Picture of an angel with light coming out of their hands. Starting to, the rain is starting to lift. I love the way these smell. Whoops, okay, that just jumped out. So I know enough about Doreen to know that that means I'm supposed to pick that card. Oh, look what it says, Earth Angel. <laughs> yes. Earth Angel. Feel the energy of that. Wow. You are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. That's who is allowed in your great big life. You may have love in you. Speaking of these, these women that I'm not going to allow in. You may have love in you, but right now it's covered underneath. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to get people all worked up about that. It's just not a fit yet. You're not a fit yet. <laughs> This is who fits in your great big life. So if you're on here and you're not a mean girl and you're all about love, request to join your great big life on Facebook. It's my private group. Okay. Earth Angel. Now, was that just coincidental? Wink, wink. Okay. This card comes to you in response to your question about your life's purpose. I think I was just saying that. Ugh. The answer is teach about love. That's all I teach about. You fulfill this task whenever you're centered, serene, and loving. As that's when you're the role model of divine peace. And that's when I was saying I just only want light to shine from me that people are just healed. Not about me. No, I don't want that. I just want people to heal and feel what's possible for them. When they just look at me, I don't have to say anything because frankly saying it and explaining it and teaching it is tiring. I just want to be. Just my presence heals people. You needn't say a word. <laughs> Write a book or work as a healer in order to positively affect others, although I know I'm supposed to write books. You merely need to be loving and compassionate in your interactions with others. And those of you who missed the beginning of this call, it will be going out soon. Watch the replay. Powerful, potent stuff. Those who are peaceful teach about peace, which is an expression of divine love on earth. You also received this card to help you cope with alienation issues, which means feeling different from others or that you don't belong. As an earth angel, this may be your first human incarnation, maybe one of your first, your first human incarnations. But don't worry, for you're never truly alone. The angels are always guiding, are always with you, guiding, loving, and unconditionally accepting you as you are. Everybody go, oh, thank you. There are also other angel, earth angels living among you who have similar backgrounds and experiences as you. Hi, Christine. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you here, honey. Um, are you on my email? Yes, you are on my email list. This is uh, going out in the replay. I'm about to close up, but this was so powerful. I want you to be fed by this, okay, darling? So watch the replay. As your guardian angels connect you with like-minded friends, and they will. Okay, wait, I'm going to back up. There are also other earth angels living among you who have similar backgrounds and experiences to your own. Ask your guardian angels to connect you with light-minded friends 
and they will. Okay, <clears throat> ask your guardian angels to connect you with like-minded friends, and they will. Action steps. The key to teaching about love is to first feel it for yourself and your life. Take a pad and paper or an open blank word processing document on your computer and write down everything you can think of under the heading, what I like about myself. And I'm gonna do that challenge right now. Tell me either to yourself or in the comments, five things you love about yourself. I did this with my sister yesterday. It was really hard for her to get started. So I'll, I'll tell you mine. And if you even you do this every day, and if you even have to just use the same five over and over again, just the process of doing this is hugely beneficial for us. So five things you love about you. So I'm going to say five things I love about me. My smile, my laugh. I love that I keep, keep showing up. Um, I love that I keep putting myself out there even though I'm not happy with doing tech and I'm actually starting to like it because I'm corralling the motherfucker all in this one little piece and I'm getting it all done in an hour a day so I'm not on the computer very much at all anymore. Um, and number five is I just think I'm a wonderful person and I just appreciate myself so much. And that appreciation is growing every single day as I say yes to me, as I say yes to my inspirations, as I say yes to the angels whispering in my ear. And I don't care what I'm doing or how inconvenient it seems, I'm doing it. And as I'm doing that and I'm being obedient, I'm just, I'm just so happy to be me. I, I'm loving my life more. Not without its ups and downs though. Yesterday, I was so bored. I was like, God, get me out of here. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I was like, I think I'm ready to leave. I mean, leave. But if I'm ever scheduled to be on here and I not, there might be cause for concern. <laughs> so you might want to reach out to me personally or my assistant, Martha um, Livingston in Spain, just in case I left the planet. I know there was a time like coming up two summers now where I just was in so much bliss. I just thought I was going to walk off the planet like Esau in the Old Testament. Like I was just going to evaporate off into the ethers. <laughs> so if I'm not here Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern, uh, 7 a.m. Central, 6 a.m. Mountain, 5 a.m. Pacific. And I'll let you know if I decide that I'm not going to do Monday through Friday anymore, but right now it's changing my life. Um, as we go into the meditation together and then on into the other things on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's see, uh, I think it's 1 p.m. in London and most of Europe. It's 8 p.m. in the Philippines and midnight in Australia. If I don't show up, I might have left. So reach out to Martha. Martha Christie, Martha Livingston. I got to get her on admin for my Facebook group. Just in case you guys want to reach out. Okay. That's it. The energy went down. Okay, guys, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern for the meditation. And carry this light and love with you all day long. My eyes, my Kathy, my eyes, my laughter. Love me, my nails, my boobs. Can't see past them. LOL. Yay, sister. Yes. Who else wants to throw in here what they love about themselves? Huge. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Say yes to you all day long. <laughs> Vicky, XOXO, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think it's the first day in a long time I haven't cried. I've been crying all day long every day. Just not sad, just like I'm just breaking open with love. So Tiblo says, thank you for joining us. 
They transported all of your wishes and desires up to the throne of God. Rose O'Ryan says, thank you for being a woman of God, a man of God. For changing the planet. Who else wants to drop what they love about themselves in here? This is that zone. This is what you can do in your great big life. This is what we celebrate each other for. In fact, I'm going to put a challenge out. Those of you sisters on here who are in your great big life, would you put these five things you appreciate about you in that group? We will only celebrate you. So I'm challenging you to do that. All right, and I'll start. So Kathy, would you put that in there in your great big life? Vicki, I want to see yours. D, I want to see yours. Honesty, I want to see yours. Big shout out to Honesty. She just joined your great big life Facebook group. I think Christine, you're in there. Um, D, D, did I say D? Okay, sister friends. Mary, I love unconditionally. My smile, my laugh. Mary, you're in there. Put these in the Facebook group. I don't give up. I keep trying to learn and I keep believing. God, you remind me of me. That's like my list. <laughs> Tenacity. Just keep going. Not that I don't want to give up sometimes. <laughs> I want to give up a lot, but I just keep going. So, sisters, my challenge to you is to put those please over in your great big life Facebook group. Let's light a fire in there, okay? Stay in this bliss today. Let the light just shine from your face. Inspire everybody who looks at you. That they go to the next tick, wherever they are, on the ladder of evolvement. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks so much for taking your time. Thank you for being the best part of my day. Sending you so much love. Bye-bye.